it. I need to fill it with something. <laughs> yeah. Do you like my cup? <laughs> <laughs> Assalamu alaikum guys and hello I hope you're well um, I have spent the past few days really sick and I'm breaking out really badly and um, yeah lots of headaches why you might ask well this is self-inflicted so please don't feel sorry for me I've actually started this optimum wellness vitamin C flush I love it it is very cleansing it's very detoxifying and I guess that the breakout is because of that so thank God for makeup is all I can say <laughs> Um, so what I want to talk to you about today was um, confidence because I see this everywhere and it's beginning to just grate on me where you know they're making jewelry and necklaces and bracelets and rings basically saying I am enough I am enough why has this all of a sudden in all of the history of mankind become a thing okay now within my own soul and my own self of course I look for answers and I, and I, and I try to figure out you know whether I'm worthy what makes me worthy where self-confidence comes from where self-esteem comes from how to build it what destroys it why we should have it why it's necessary and of course here I am on YouTube uh, in a tiny fraction of time making this for however long I am blessed to make it the thing is that we are very obsessed nowadays with ourselves okay more than ever with the advent of social media people more than ever are beginning to question delve deeper which in a way is very good because it leads you to ask some really deep and probing questions if you take out the time to actually entertain your shadow self and your mind and allow and allow yourself time to think about the deeper probing questions about your ex your existence you know perhaps go through an existential crisis which sometimes is necessary for you to find your direction in life and then you know ask yourself the questions about why am I alive why am I here okay as Muslims we know why we're here to worship Allah alone but the thing is that that is one aspect which is the spiritual aspect which governs our everyday lives but most people lack direction in a what are you born with based on your nature and nurture and your innate talents and most people are confused about what their direction is when it comes to um, what they should be doing as a life career or something of a direction or a, if whether your work is your hobby or your hobby is your work or you've got it all mixed up and you you know you just don't know what you're doing of course Brene Brown has influenced me greatly when it comes to this kind of study and introspection is that your identity and how you think of yourself your self-image is based around most of the time what people say and what people think now in order to succeed at life you need to divorce yourself away from this and start to really dig deep into thinking about what you think and whether everyone really is on the right track or whether they're absolutely not making any sense and this involves critical thinking which is not the forte of most societies because you're meant to be part of the herd and follow like sheep and you know that's how everyone's supposed to just be getting along and being happy and not asking questions now this of course for the mundane mediocre masses is okay but if you're a deep thinker and if the whole aspect of worthiness and um, you know am I enough and authenticity really digs deep into your soul then you need to honestly figure out why is it that you feel like you're not enough two main things people come to me with when I teach and coach in self-esteem course and etiquette and the thing is that they always want to know how do I get self-esteem how do I get confidence how you get it it's not something you can actually go and buy from the store it's actually something that you have inside of you that needs to be developed okay it's not something that you can attain externally it is all to do with your internal work it is about discovering who you are it is about learning about who you are and this can never happen inside your comfort zone so just get straight about that okay I would never have learned about myself what I'm capable of had I not been put through very very horrendous life-threatening sometimes situations throughout my travels I mean I left a very strict and sheltered Muslim upbringing at the age of 19 I mean I was a tender fresh little you know spring chicken I left to go backpacking across Europe by myself I don't know how <laughs> you know this happened but only Allah knows that set me on a journey and many 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 con consequential consequential I don't know what I'm saying 
many journeys after that <laughs> consecutive maybe maybe that's the right word consecutive journeys after that which led to discovering myself digging deeper trying harder pushing boundaries uh pushing the limits on my own capabilities on what i thought were my own capabilities things that i thought were going to limit me limiting beliefs crippling beliefs often projected on me by other people who couldn't do it therefore said that i couldn't do it all of these things crush your soul and you need to understand that you cannot let people get into you and you need to have a barrier and some filter so that the negativity bounces off because you know who you are and you're so strong in your own self and standing in your own self and your own worthiness that you are your own storehouse generator powerhouse of self-producing love and self-producing energy self-producing worthiness and worth so that no one can come and question your value no one can come and tell you you cannot do this you're not capable because you already know what you're capable of. how do you know what you're capable of how do you know that you're worthy is because you've done it before now that's the key okay to go and try and fail and conquer and be humiliated and fail and try again and fall down and fail graze your knees get cuts and bruises you know roll with the punches get your metal tested all of that stuff all of that good stuff because let me tell you something life is not worth living unless you go on that path and do all of that if you're comfortable living your mundane little existence and carrying on every day yesterday is like tomorrow tomorrow's like yesterday the next day is going to be like this the next year is going to be like this and it keeps following the same the same treadmill of life the same path you're never going to be fulfilled i can tell you that right now your life is not going to change you are not going to be fulfilled you're going to be crippled by anxiety which is going to manifest itself in diseases in your body you're going to feel depressed you're going to feel sad because you're not living up to your own potential so stop looking for worthiness outside of yourself stop looking for value outside of yourself stop looking for confidence and self-esteem from outside of yourself it's all within you you need to push yourself to the limit the reason why you're so frustrated and depressed and angry at yourself is because you're not living up to your own expectations okay so i hope you take this away and this is in lieu of my 2020 let's welcome it let's aim higher shoot further okay and love harder especially yourself love and like No one can see that. Yeah, so. I, know. <laughs> I know it's funny. Shh, our secret.